Hey y'all, and welcome back to My Little Corner of the Internet. My name is Lilith, and for today's video, I'm going to give you three baked oat recipes that I created. Baked oats seem to be super viral right now, and when I saw them, I just had to try them, but the recipes I found weren't always vegan. So I made a few recipes of my own that are vegan and are different flavors, and they're so, so good. While I'm only giving you three recipes today, I actually wrote, like, a dozen of them in different flavors, so we're gonna make this a mini-series. I'm gonna do at least like two more videos of baked oat recipes, but I wanted to go ahead and get y'all the recipes that I've already recorded, and they're so good. A cake for breakfast. What more could you ask for? Before we jump into those recipes though, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a video from me. And Leave me a comment down below if you've tried baked oats, what you think of them, if you try any of these. I really want to know what your thoughts are. So let's go ahead, jump into the recipes. First up, a classic flavor, peanut butter chocolate chip. Remember, you can always get the full recipes for everything I make in a video down below in the description box. Start out by making one flax egg. That's one tablespoon of flax seed, three tablespoons of warm water set aside for about five minutes. Next, we're gonna add half a cup of rolled oats, half a banana, one tablespoon of maple syrup, one tablespoon of peanut butter, half a teaspoon of baking powder, a pinch of salt, my flax egg, and you'll see I tried to start blending this and then realized I forgot the oat milk. So I went back and added the oat milk and then blend it until smooth. Then I added a tablespoon of chocolate chips and stirred those in. Poured that into my cute little baking dish and sprinkled another tablespoon of chocolate chips on top. Pop that in the oven at 350 for 25 minutes. Voila, you can add more peanut butter drizzle on top or just eat this straight up. It's got lots of peanut butter flavor in it. Sticking with the peanut butter theme for a minute, peanut butter and jelly baked oats. Again, we're gonna start out with half a cup of oats, half a banana, a quarter cup of oat milk, this time I did not mix together a flax egg previously, I just added the flax seed and water to the pitcher to see how it would turn out. Added my tablespoon of peanut butter. My tablespoon of maple syrup. Half a teaspoon of baking powder. Quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. A pinch of salt and pop that on my blender if you notice I'm using a different pitcher it's a little bit wider so it didn't blend up quite as smooth as the taller pitcher my blade broke on my taller pitcher so it didn't quite rise as high as it would have if it was blended up a little bit smoother but it still came out really good So on top here, I'm adding some strawberry jelly swirl. This strawberry jelly was made by a friend of mine and it's so good. Of 
pop that in the oven again 350 for 25 minutes and then I went ahead and added a little bit more jelly and a little bit more peanut butter on top because why not peanut butter and jelly And the last flavor I'm going to show you guys today is lemon blueberry baked oats. This time I decided to use oat flour instead of oats because my other pitcher, again, was not working. So I was having to use the slightly wider one that wasn't blending the oats quite as smooth. So I went ahead and used oat flour. You can straight up replace the half a cup of oats with just under half a cup of oat flour. My half a banana the juice from one lemon, my tablespoon of flaxseed, two tablespoons of maple syrup. I was out of vanilla extract, so I replaced it with vanilla powder. If you're doing that, use half as much as you would use vanilla extract because the powder is so much more intense. A pinch of salt, a pinch of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of baking powder and I forgot to add my milk again I put my quarter cup of oat milk and then blended it smooth poured that into my cute little baking dish and then mixed in a quarter cup of frozen blueberries you can use fresh or frozen I just had only frozen on hand And then I took the zest of that lemon that I juiced, I zested it before I juiced it, mixed it with a tablespoon of coconut sugar, and sprinkled that on top. And once again, popped in the oven at 350 for 25 minutes. Had to get a cute Instagram picture. This one was such a good summery flavor, light, and so delicious. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Again, let me know down in the comments if you try one of these recipes or if you have any ideas for baked oats. Pretty much any like cake type thing, cake flavor, can be made into baked oats, I think, because I, I, I've done a lot of different ones. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, but don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a video from me. Like this video if you liked it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, y'all!